What is up, ladies and gentlemen, Spadio? Welcome to October's monthly discussion. Right now it is seven ten on Halloween PM so it's night time. Nonetheless And of course the dogs are going at it. Someone must be at the door, huh? Anyway, a lot actually went down this month. Something pretty bad that could have ended up into pure tragedy. But everything's good, everything turned out alright. And since it's personal, I'm not going to go any further than that. But nonetheless, what else went down? Got back into watching Naruto again. Where I last left off. Officially left off when watching the show. Which was Naruto S. Not saying its full name. I hate that second word. Don't know why they changed it. Anyway, Naruto S. Episode 99 was where I left off. So I started watching from episode 100. And where do I leave off? Alright, let me see. Episode, starting from episode 100. Straight up to episode 200. And 58. I'm currently on the page to Watts, episode 259. So yeah, 158 episodes. The first half within the first week, and the second half within this week. So yeah, I did a lot of watching. On top of that, I had to cut for a second. At any rate, I have coffee. So if I'm not talking, I'm just drinking some of it. Nonetheless, I did a lot of watching. <laughs> no joke, finally got to see some parts of Naruto I've been dying to see for years. Pain vs. Naruto. Sasuke vs. Danzo. Sasuke vs. Orochimaru. Boy, a lot of stuff actually went down. And I'm also pretty interested at seeing where everything goes from here on out. Because the fourth great ninja war begins now. <laughs> I believe it began at episode 256. I'm pretty sure. Right now we're back in the backstory. <laughs> oh god. At any rate, I'm enjoying the watch so far. Sasuke vs. Itachi. Finally learning more about Itatsu. But in turn made me hate the Hidden Leaf Village a lot. But dang it, I never liked Donzo, so... Yeah. Besides from watching a bunch of Naruto... <clears throat> I ended up watching and catching up to a Let's Play Persona 4. I was really skeptical on actually watching it, but considering the fact that I liked it enough to catch up to the Let's Play, I think it's safe to say I'm watching it all the way through. So yeah, that took a bit of time, 
pretty fun watching. And I'm also playing this um, Persona 4 Golden again. Slowly but slowly doing things on very hard mode. <laughs> Nonetheless, played through some of that. <clears throat> That was mainly just to kill some time. I was really bored to tears until basically, basically like the 22nd of October. <laughs> Finally ended up getting my hands on Yokai Watts 2, Bony Spirits. Pretty much at the final boss. And apparently the post game is really long, a lot longer than the main story. And the fact that I've already put in a little over 30 hours so far, and I'm only scratching the surface, I'm interested to see where this game takes me. So yeah, really enjoying Yokai Watch 2. Being a bit <laughs> along with the original. Like, I don't know. Your Guy Wads is really fun to play, but there's too much RNG in it. And it's too based on luck. And it pisses me off like hell. It really does. So I've been really busy playing through that. Lately, again, along with watching Naruto, and a very few Let's Plays I'm actually currently watching. With that, this one is once last two. I also dove into Persona for the original, but that was like. 60 seconds a minute. I didn't really do anything in it. Just trying to figure out where I left off. Nonetheless, I believe that's roughly all I really did. I think I played through some of the original Yokai Watch game. I hope to say how much I did. I'm pretty sure I did some things with it. I think I have like 50 odd hours into that game. And I still got a fair bit of post game to do in that game. Then again, I'm not really trying to do the post game. Oh, the Yoko Watts games are pretty fun. And the third Yoko Watts game. I'm actually pretty hyped for a design to the New York guy looking badass as hell. Especially Lord and my himself. Like, dude. Lord and Ma in Yokai Watch 3 literally reminds me of Dragon Ball. <laughs> for some reason, it just does. I think it's just a hair. Kind of reminds me of Super Saiyan or something. <laughs> but nonetheless, I don't know, I'm really liking Lord Edmund's design. It's probably the most badass Yokai Watch design I've seen yet. And that's saying a lot. And not much at the same time. And again, considering the fact that Yokai Watch 3 is a game that literally takes place in America. It's obvious we're getting it here in America. Because why wouldn't we? <laughs> like, for real. But nonetheless, still pretty fucking hyped over Persona 5. Like, 
I'm just dying to play it. To be specific. I'm literally hoping to let's play Persona 5 blind. Like, if I get my first reactions to first reactions and thoughts on Persona 5 blind on camera, to me, that would be godlike. It's far too late for me to do that for Persona 4. But if I can do that for Persona 5, oh my god, that's gonna be so great. That way I can just look back on my first experience with the game. If I'm capable of let's playing it. And if Atlas actually lets people let's play the game. Because from the looks of it, Atlas isn't let letting anyone let's play a Japanese version. So, I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to see when time comes. And also, I'm pretty sure I set up everything correctly to let's play console games. Or at the very least, of PlayStation 3. The only thing I'm seeing that's wrong would be the CD setup. Everything's set up right with the whole capsule card. The only thing that I'm seeing that's not set up right is the CD program. We must have fucked up installing it somehow. I'm going to have to eventually force myself to somehow reinstall it and re-remove it or something. I don't know. But I do play on Let's Play That Game Blind. So, so I believe that's really all I really did game-wise this month. Uh, well, I actually did dive into Bravely Default for maybe an hour to level gun for jobs at least. I don't think I'm ever going to beat that final boss. <laughs> Just not willing to put in the time. First time going to that final boss, it was three hours in and died. And I don't want to do that again and it being a failure. The thing is, I don't know what to do because I'm capped at levels of like 99. Play Bravely Default a little bit. And yeah, I believe that is actually all the games I really played this month. Well, <laughs> well, I guess you can't really call it a game. Well, it's a demo, but like anyone with a 3DS at this point, most likely played through the Sun and Moon demo. I played through some of it, but I'm, yeah, it's safe to say I stopped playing it. Even though there's new stuff being added every few days or weeks up until the game's release. But I don't know, I just stopped playing it. Might dive into it again before the game comes out. Who knows. Thoughts on the demo? Honestly? I took my sweet ass time. <laughs> like experiencing any game for the first time. I love exploring video games. I love just doing my own thing. Taking my sweet ass time. And if I actually do end up playing to Persona 5 Blind as a Let's Play slash playthrough, <laughs> that is gonna be one long ass fucking LP with episodes to it. We're just gonna be going on a rant. Guarantee, because I'm just going to be exploring, soaking it all in, 
and just theorizing what will happen next and all of this. <laughs> like, I don't know, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that game, I know it. Considering I've been waiting for it, basically, <laughs> since I got into Persona 4, and Persona 5 became a rumor, a fantasy within the Persona 4 fans, and it's actually real. Yeah, you know I'm going to enjoy it. And I lost my train of thought. Because there's no way I'm talking about Persona 5 this whole time. No way. Man, that coffee's getting cold real quick. But yeah, I do believe that is all. I did it when it came to gaming this month. As for Watson stuff, pretty much the usual. I ended up re watching, re watching, and re watching over and over again the Family Guy and American Dad DVDs. At least some of them. Because again, there's fuck all on TV. You know the drill. It's Halloween. It's October. It's horror movie. Spiritual ghost. Murdering. Serial killer movie. Trailers and sit on TV. On commercials. All the scary fucking movies. No, get that shit out of my fucking face. Please. Just pop in the fucking DVDs so I don't have to see that shit. Plus, there's fuck all on TV again this month. And I'm pretty sure in another week I'm gonna be bitching about Christmas. For fuck's sakes. Like, if you don't know me, if you haven't checked out some of these monthly discussions or updates or whatever, you, you probably should know I hate holidays. I absolutely hate them. For their own reasons. I hate scary shit. And October in general, I just don't like, really. The only thing that's good about it is the bugs are disappearing. That's all I see it as. And I lost a your thought again. Great. Great. So, I, I'm actually surprised out. Not even 20 minutes in. And we've already talked a fair bit. Which is good timing, I guess you could call it. Or bad timing. I'm a rattle. But nonetheless... I'm not really fond of holidays. The top tier holidays I bits about... Uh, Halloween... Christmas and New Year's Day, if you can even call it a holiday. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure I missed this before in one of the other monthly discussions. This town I've pretty much been living in is literally fucking Christmas at this point. Once it gets a bit more colder, I'm most likely going to show you guys around. And you'll know exactly why I'm ta why I'm saying this town has become Christmas. And why I fucking hate it even more than I originally did. Even though November is literally tomorrow, my room 
is still a fucking oven. No joke. <laughs> yep, now you would think it would cool down, at least when October began. No, no. My room this fall seems to be even hotter than when it was during the summer. Why? Like, I swear I need air conditioning in my room or something to get rid of this heat. I'd rather be cold than hot. These days at least. I'm sick of bacon in the heat. Who needs to go outside in the sun? And bake in the heat, if you can just bake in the heat inside too. You know, but nonetheless. Nonetheless. Also, what else did I do this month? Also, I think that's actually about it. Did a lot of watching out of here bit of gaming, but that's about it. Nonetheless, November's gonna be hell. For multiple reasons. One thing I'm not looking forward to, for one. And two... I'm also hoping to finish off We Both Won High time November ends. Chances of that happening probably aren't gonna happen. But I'm definitely gonna try. But I also actually did some drawings. Uh, that one was late September. So yeah, I did two drawings this month. And honestly, the second one you guys haven't seen yet. Solely because I put much rage quit on it. But like, I'm determined to finish it is the thing. Like, I really want to finish it, but at the same time... It's becoming such a bit to do. I've literally got everything done on it. Except for adding in some depth. Aka shading in the actual clothes. The actual jacket. Slash book bag maybe. I'm probably not going to add depth into that, but who knows. I, I literally got, I literally got like halfway through saving the old jacket and boom. Half the fucking dog's fucked. Solely due to the fact of just the colors being a bit <laughs> So I need to like go over the fucking lines again, eventually. And on top of that, I am actually going all out with this in particular drawing online and on paper. Sad thing is online drawings actually progress further than the paper one. And I'm just not in the mood to actually finish the paper one. Even though it's less done than the online one, which is the same drawing, just in a different art form. Oh, I'm just really... I just don't want to finish it. That's another thing, I just want to finish it, but at the same time, I, I just don't want to put the effort into it anymore. 
So I'm not like a standstill, so I guess it's like that. I don't know, but nonetheless, it's actually not a Halloween one. I only did two Halloween songs this year. This is kind of the same as the other year, two, three years ago. Did two Halloween songs then, at least I consider Halloween. So I don't know, I don't know. Whether I continue it or not. It's like a November type themed song in a sense. The cold fall time of year type of drawing. Still don't know if I'm gonna feel it. At this point I'm just ranting, so that's Basically all that went down this month. Not really much else to say. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say, so I guess we'll just wrap things up. For October 2016. I really wonder how long I'm going to do his monthly discussions. This is really like the third year in a row now. Really hard to say. Guess whenever I get sick of doing them. Alright, I'm done. Yeah, I also hope you guys had a good, great Halloween. And if you don't like Halloween, hope you had a great day. Hope you avoid it the whole trick or treat thing like I'm definitely going to do in the future. I'm really going to try to avoid trick or treat at all costs eventually in the future. <laughs> it's not like dealing with the whole thing. Nonetheless, I hope you all had a great day, great Halloween, and I'll see you guys in November.